the armed forces of Russia and Ukraine reported the progress from front line in the last 24 hour. The gunfights continued in some places June 18. Operational tactical and army aviation, missile troops and artillery of the armed forces of the Russian Federation have neutralized 97 AFU artillery units at their firing positions, manpower and hardware in 103 areas. Two P-18 detection radars have been hit close to Novopavlovka, Donetsk People's Republic, and Tomarino, Kherson region. One guidance and detection radar of Ukrainian S-300 air defense missile system has been destroyed near Daknoye, Donetsk People's Republic. Lieutenant General Igor Konoshenkov, the Russian Defense Ministry spokesman said as June 17 the armed forces of Ukraine have been loosing 444 fighter jets, 239 helicopters, 4,668 unmanned aerial vehicles, 426 air defense missile systems, 10,047 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles. Also 1,124 fighting vehicles equipped with MLRS, 5,141 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 10,996 special military motor vehicles have been destroyed during the special military operation. The other side from Kyiv, the armed forces of Ukraine in an official statement June 18 said Russia lost 650 servicemen in a single day, including six tanks, 23 armored fighting vehicles as well as 13 artillery units and two helicopters. In total, Moscow have been losing 219,820 servicemen since their launching full-scale aggression into Ukrainian territories. Russia and Ukraine conflict has been lasting for 480 days. There is still no peace settlement between two sides. nonton jangan lupa like subscribe dan share ya